Hello, I'm Bernie and welcome to this short chat. This was prompted by, well, it's being the 1st of August, so it's a new month. And also we are in the energy of Mercury retrograde, which I've spoken about before, which is a time for the whole of August and into the at least the first week of September where we're being asked, prompted to, reminded to, gently nudged into going over things, revisiting, rewinding, reviewing, restructuring, renovating, decluttering. It can be in a physical area in our life, getting maybe the kitchen more organised or the, the bedroom space more organised. For a client the other day I even suggested for them to start with their sock drawer for them to have more of a sense of order and throwing out the odd socks having a sense of order will help them to expand upon bringing more order into other areas of their lives and to start with the sock drawer for another one it was start in the pantry so whether it's your sock drawer <laughs> whether it's your pantry, whether it's the laundry, whether it's the area where you might have, you know, if you have a pet, um, bringing more order into that area can help you It's take, take action, be disciplined to bring order in to, and it's, it's also a reminder that you can change and adapt and adjust. So the month of August is sometimes where delays will happen, miscommunications, um, appointments or meetings or getting together with someone. Might The plans might be adjusted or rescheduled. There might be delays or miscommunications or needing to say something again. Maybe it either wasn't heard or there was a typo. It's asking us to have a re-look at what is going on in our lives. So whether that be communication, whether that be our physical space, as I've mentioned, it could be also a time of slowing down, going within to look at maybe reworking, re-looking at, maybe reassessing our priorities definitely priorities that very much relate to it can be personal growth because we have the new moon on the 4th of August and it is bringing themes of personal growth and routine and identity which can relate to self-beliefs and priorities and core values, that sort of thing. Um, what came up this morning, which has prompted this uh, short chat as well, is there was someone who's reached out wanting to, and the word was rehash, <laughs> to go over a storyline of their past so they could potentially see it with new eyes which could come more so possibly in the you know in September so the new moon is generally to set intention sow a seed so it's for the month of August because of the other energies at play, it may be sowing a seed, having the intention of going within to look at what can I change, restructure so that my personal growth is more in alignment with me or has more, more momentum. There's not that procrastination. So this, uh, this client reached out, how can I rehash, go over the past? And it was time for them to go over it, through it again. This time they are ready to forgive. Forgive themselves, forgive the 
the other party. It doesn't necessarily condone what maybe the other party has done, but in forgiving the other party, in forgiving themselves, it's giving them a sense of freedom to create a new story around themselves. It's very much... aligning with a spiritual practice of allowing spirit in through forgiveness mm -hmm. and also it's it's reminding us of the connection that we have to others and also what can i learn from this how can, this is to do with personal what can i learn from this so the forgiveness practice that I suggested and that we worked on together was the Hawaiian forgiveness prayer, the Ho'oponopono prayer. It was quite moving to approach this non-judgment. So the prayer is, I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. It acknowledges an invitation for reflection, forgiveness, gratitude for the lesson. It's finding the lesson in the situation, which can be the strength to forgive. And also acknowledgement, I love you. So we brought it back home to self-love. And then this other journey opened up about the inner child. So um, this month is very much about going within. We're going within in the VIP online group. We started with the forgiveness prayer as well as journal prompts. I'm working with another woman with intuitive healing with the forgiveness prayer this week. It's also connected to the, the full moon at the end of the month about more freedom. It's like when, when we can forgive and see something in a new light, it gives us the freedom. It actually empowers us. It can be very empowering. I'm also working with this forgiveness prayer on the Friday, the 30th of August for the full day online retreat because it is so important. It's, it's like it's connecting to many different offerings and many different areas for people, many different, many different Now here's subconscious. So what's going on in their subconscious? It's like it's coming to light and forgiveness is very much connected to, to almost not, not the solution but the, the healing with what's coming up this month by slowing down, looking within. I have a meditation, the koala meditation, and if there's a totem for mindfulness, it would be the koala would be one of the animals. Very much slow down, observe, look within and with non-judgment. And because of that, I feel that's why there's so much of this prompting for forgiveness coming up. And it's starting with, it can start with those at a distance or in the community and then you bring it closer. It could be colleagues or extended family and then you bring it to family. It could be partner, could be children, grandchildren, and then you bring it to self. Some may start with self and expand outwards, but what I'm finding is they're starting further outwards in the community and then they're bringing the forgiveness into 
into more of an internal space. So I feel they'll be working on that through the month. This is a prompt that if, you, if this resonates with you, you might like to reach out to me. If this resonates with you, you might like to listen to the koala meditation that's um, in the playlist of my meditations or one of the other forgiveness meditations that I have. So all the best for the month of August, a month of going within, a month of subtle changes little by little, change little by little, change. And a month of making progress. I go back to the decluttering, making progress by taking action, small actions. So, and if you have any, if you experience any delays, um, U-turns, try and find the lesson, try and find the reason, which can be, slow down, maybe a reminder of having more patience. Going with the flow, which is one of the big uh, themes that we're having in the VIP online group. Have a good month. Thank you. Bye.